what's up there, guys and gals? Hey, so uh, this will be kind of a quick little rant. I just wanted to say I just finished. I couldn't wait until, like, after work. So I purposely set the alarm, and the wife and I woke up, and we watched The Fringe Reunion on HBO Max. First of all, if naturally, if you're a Friends fan, this is going to be super nostalgic for you. You're not going to be disappointed with anything. The entire buildup, I think, was great. You know, spoiler alert, but when they first walk on set, you know, it kind of gives you the vibe of, like, what HBO Max did with Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But the one thing I loved about this one in particular is they came in individually, which was cool. And then once they got in, they were reminiscing about certain episodes as they walked the set. Spoiler alert. They're walking the set. They rebuild the whole set. You know, from Central Perk to the apartments, uh, everything. They rebuilt everything. So, But they didn't know, right, when the cast walked in or they're just really good actors. So when they first got in there, they were just shocked. And you get to see the amazement. All six of them finally get together. And this, I think, there was only one other time that they all got together for kind of like a reunion. But I don't think they've ever been on set this much uh, when it was all built in 17 years, you know, so it's, it's pretty crazy to see their reaction. And then again, just, you know, growing up, the Friends TV series was just, it's one of my favorite shows to the day. I mean, I watch it constantly before I go to bed every night, I could probably recite every single episode, you know, so it was very nostalgic to kind of see them all come together. But how they did it on the reunion show was great. You know, James Corden hosted, you know, an interview style, late night style, talk show and ask them some questions and there's some special appearances from celebrities that were on the show and there's you know interviews and you know all this stuff they they just did it really well because they cut it up and mixed it together to where they would reminisce on certain episodes and then you get a flashback of that episode as they're reminiscing which I thought was really cool and if you forgot that episode seeing them reminisce about it and then showing the flashback I just thought it was really well produced and well done and it kept going back and forth my favorite part about this, and if you haven't watched it yet, sorry, spoilers. My favorite part about this entire thing was when they were rereading lines. So there's a couple episodes that they uh, read some lines as they were as they were filming, and then they would cut back and forth to the original. And these guys are so talented, and these girls are so talented that as they were reading the lines, you laugh just as hard. You know, watching them read the lines today in 2021 as they read it, you know, back in uh, in the 90s or the 2000s. So it was just overall, I mean, it was just a great, great show. I definitely highly recommend, uh, even if you've only seen a couple Friends episodes, you're going to get a kick out of this. You're really going to enjoy it. And they did not disappoint, in my opinion. I thought they did it very uh, tastefully, and it was worth the wait. And then they also left you kind of satisfied. You know, for 17 years, we've wanted this reunion, and you almost kind of thought that you wanted it to be like a series, right? Like you want like a reunion series, like where are they now? You know, where's Joey in? And uh, is he still an actor? Is Rachel and Ross still together? Like you, you maybe wanted that, but then when you watch this, you're definitely satisfied. It leaves you satisfied for sure. And then also kind of left me when I got done with it, they did such a good job with this, I think, that I don't know if I would want to see anything else again. You know, it might be kind of cool to talk about it and you know maybe in 20 years you know they're older and they're reminiscing yeah maybe but I don't know I don't know if I want to see them together again in this setting because they just did a good job kind of leaving you leaving you satisfied and you don't want to ruin a good thing right you know it reminds me a lot of like on Curb Your Enthusiasm I'm a big Larry David fan and he brought together the cast of Seinfeld again for the very first time on set as part of his show and they kind of joked around and did that. And that was great. That was perfect. But to see them like when they're all 60 and doing that, eh, I don't know if I would want to see that. So they just did a great job with this. I highly recommend it. Just another reason to have HBO Max. Go out there, watch it, enjoy this. Peace.